Hey guys, Richie Myers here for Blackjet. Wanted to talk about the TX2DS and some new accessories for it. This thing's awesome. I base 90% uh, of my workflow around this guy or the four bay. Any jobs I'm on, I use exclusively their SSDs or I use my old two and a half inch SSDs and I can transfer them between. Um, I have a lot of kits, if you know me, I work with a lot of different productions. So some days are stills, some days are motion, some days are both, some days I'm wrangling, some days I'm doing transcodes. So what this allows me to do is basically ingest from any camera I need, whether it be a RED, an Alexa Mini, whatever, uh, even some Sony stuff. I got the new SXS adapter. That's been uh, awesome. And what, uh, you know, with my workflow, with the two and a half inch or the M M.2 drives, I can jump between these two module systems and go anywhere with my kit. What's even better is they brought out a D-Tap adapter, so now we can power this on the go. But they've expanded even further than that. They used to have the 1DS, which was the four bay, right? So you could have a red reader, a C-Fast reader, and two blank bays for SSDs. What they've done is they've come out with the 2DS, and to answer a lot of our problems, they've gotten rid of the old one system and developed a shelf to hold the two bay system. What's great about this is you're not losing anything. You can have one in there or you can install two. So now you have two, just like you did with the original, but you have two Thunderbolt ports. You have daisy chaining. So now you can daisy chain way more adapters, way more things, and you can jump around with way more drives. What's great about this is I use this exclusively on just about every production. Almost every job I do where I wrangle, I'm using these. What this is doing now is I can install this into my into any of my rack systems and be on the go and not have to worry about setting up or tearing down or carrying anything extra. We're gonna show you how I'm gonna use it soon. I'm installing it today and then we're gonna beat it up for the next couple weeks. If you have a 2DS, this is gonna be the way to go, just to have on standby. What's neat is you, it's only four screws, so it comes in and out really easily, so you can go back to your mobility or use it exclusively in a rack system. That's what I'm planning on doing, is having it for both ways. I can pull it out and take it on the road, or I can run with it in my rack system. The old system was great, just not conducive to my personal workflow. Now that I've adopted all these modules, I didn't have a use for it anymore. That's why I was really excited to, to receive this. And because it's Thunderbolt 3, you can daisy chain anything. So you can even daisy chain this up top of your desk and just to this, have this built into your rack, put this away while you're downloading or backing up to this. There's, there's endless opportunities now. And it, it's been really great. My entire kits are, are solely based on Thunderbolt 3 at this point, single cable plugins. Um, especially with the new M1 Max, it makes life way easier to just plop one cable in then I have two extra ports. I can do whatever I need with this. It's great because when I'm on set, I can pull the modules, leave, you know, do a walk away, pull the modules, come home and have one of these on my desk at home and I'm transferring now to my reins. Now I'm backing up off site. It's just made, it's made life a lot easier and it gives you that mag life where you can go and transfer data way quicker and way more universal. I'm really excited about this shelf. Taking the 2DS and have, being able to have two of them built in really will expand and shorten my setup times. I'll be able to just unload, pull up a rack system, pop that front off, and boom, I'm gonna have four bays at access. This has been a great system for me. Um, the secondary power has been the only thing, right? You have to constantly be unplugging, plugging in, and, and it's wear and tear on the plug-in adapter too that you know worries me after a while. Luckily, they went with the hardcore heavy-duty XLR type style where it kind of locks in and it's very rugged. But what's nice is once it's built in, power can be built in. It's daisy chains, it'll be daisy chains to the second one, and now you just have one Thunderbolt cable coming to me, and another one can go to a drive or whatever and keep the chain going. Um, a lot of what we've been doing is experimenting with USB and Thunderbolt monitoring, so we don't have to worry about HDMI or SDIs to our, our playback monitors. So in my kit now, can I pull out you know, a monitor and daisy chain it off of this? That's the goal. The goal is to get to a point where it's a single cable kit, but connects all these devices. And that's why you know, I concentrate on using Thunderbolt 3 and staying in that ecosystem of everything kind of one cable. And then when you carry backup cables, you're not worrying about is this the five, the 10, the 20. It's a Thunderbolt 3 cable. It's got a little lightning bolt on. Oh, is it Thunderbolt 4? It doesn't matter. It's backwards compatible now. So it, you, know, you have cables that carry forward and you're not changing connections. You're not looking for dongles. You know exactly what it is. And it's the fastest. It provides power. It's, it, there's just nothing else like Thunderbolt. It's, it's, since it came out in, I guess, 2012 or 13 was when I really started concentrating on using Thunderbolt to replace my Firewire and 
just because USB has always been problematic. We've always had issues with power delivery. We've always had issues with influx and data regulation. Just, it's never been as consistent as Thunderbolt has been just because the speeds alone. You know, most of my USB stuff caps out around 200 megs. These, I know I can get 650, 700 megs out of them if I, you know, on a good day. Typically I get about 450, 500 megs, which is twice what I get with USB-C. So I'm totally cool with that. I'm 100% way better with 2X than I am with half speed, right? That's what I consider USB at this point, half speed. This is the benchmark, you have Thunderbolt 3. So when Blackjet approached me and said, you know, hey, we have all these readers and everything, I said, great, This everything just works into my ecosystem and any DIT's ecosystem already has Thunderbolt built in. This is stuff that we can use for so many different uh, objectives. This isn't just about downloading media anymore. This is, you know, my dailies can be on here and I can hand this off to the director if the director has one of these at home or built in. Or, you know, so you have multiple camera days and multiple DITs on set. Now we can swap stuff very easily and say, oh, okay, you have an extra drive, you have this. Here, toss this in, pull it off, put it on your RAID. Done. No, no worrying about shuttles or anything like that. It's, it's taking advantage of speed and ease and kind of combining them to make our lives way easier. The more time I can spend offset means the time I spend on set, I'm more concentrated and I'm more effective. I don't want to be setting cables up and constantly ah, powering this, powering that. Having everything be the same just makes everything easier. And there's days where we forget stuff. When your systems are all the same, you can forget stuff once in a while. We're human just like everybody else, right? Having all these be the same, you know, if I forget my reader, I always have a second one, right? And now that it's in my rack system, it's great. Having just a single cable that connects all my stuff and I can use it as a power cable with my computers in a worst case scenario and not worry about, I don't have to worry about length. I don't have to worry about if the cables are gonna work. I don't have to carry multiple bags. I carry a bag of Thunderbolt 3 cables now, knowing that if I have a USB drive, I can still use that same cable in a worst case scenario. But all of my drives and everything in my kit now is dialed around Thunderbolt 3, or now Thunderbolt 4, which is super exciting once that's fully available. But for now, we're using Thunderbolt 3. And the, you know, the advantage of having a cable that daisy chains is huge to me. Like having something just plug in be the end of a chain sucks sometimes. Like. You're always constantly like, oh, well now I need a hub. Now I need this, now I need that. If I need six bays, I have six bays and there's one cable connecting them, one cable connecting them, and there you go, you have two cables, that's it. That's all you need. It, it's it's insane to think how far we have come from, you know, when the USB-C form came out and Thunderbolt 3, 4 form came out, where everything became a dongle and this, that, and the other thing. Not for us, we just adopted Thunderbolt 3 and now we're protected. Thunderbolt 4 is the same connector. It's, it's just gonna be faster and better, right? So having Thunderbolt built into all my kits and, and taking advantage of it for all these readers, there's no other readers that have these speeds. Even if you know you buy the proprietary codec or whatever readers, great, that's a one trick pony. You're gonna spend $2,000, $1,000 on a, a media ingestion kit and not be able to do everything. I can do just about 85% of the cameras in the world. I can download and manage right here. I can at least manage their media if, if the reader has to daisy chain off of it, which, you know, Sony and uh, even Alexa, you have to use their readers, right? You have to use the AXS reader or the Kodak reader. Well, I have an extra port, right? So I can just daisy chain it into my base and now I'm still in my ecosystem. It's, it's just made life so much easier. So now we're gonna get to the good part. We're gonna install this, show how easy it is and just how much black chip puts into, puts into our workflow. They, they don't just come out with a product that just sits on your desk. They put, came out with a product that can go anywhere with us and be universal and say like, hey, we're not gonna gouge you and charge you for all these extra adapters and all this stuff. We're gonna come out with this and you can use it here and then you can take it out and use it at home if you want or however you want. So let's get into it. Let's get this installed and have a great day. So it's easy enough if you just flip it over. Align your top, make sure your edges are proper. Lay it on like so. Take the included screws. There we have it. Nice and clean.